welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you are going to learn the basics of JSON and also how to use JSON with a generic list. JSON is an open source library which makes parsing JSON simple. However, when you are working with a generic list, which is almost always, it's a bit more complicated than it may seem at first glance. So in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to make this app where you can save users to preferences. And normally you would have these users stored somewhere in the cloud or somewhere on the server, right? And you would call an HTTP GET request and then you would get these users from the server. And obviously these users are stored in the form of a JSON string. What we know about our users is their name and where or not they like oranges. And all we are going to do in this tutorial is to get all of the users from the preferences or in a real app you would get these from an HTTP GET request as I've said earlier. And then we are gonna filter all of the users to show only those who like oranges. So we have the user's name and then the boolean value of whether or not he or she likes oranges. So let's get right to it. Let's create a new project with Kotlin support included. And let's start off with an empty activity. I'm again not gonna bore you with creating the layout. If you really wanna create a layout like this, you can get the code from the link in the video description. We basically have an image view which is completely not mandatory then a text view with ID of text view which holds the users which are gonna be displayed and then we have two buttons show orange liking users and also save users to preferences. Now let's open up Gradle scripts and build our Gradle for the module app and let's put the JSON library inside dependencies and check out the link in the video description if you want to get up-to-date versions of JSON. And now, as a first thing, let's define the user class. So open Java, the first package, and let's create a new Kotlin file or a class user. And we want it to be a class. It's going to be a data class because all it's going to do is hold data. And it's going to hold name of type string. And also val likes oranges of type boolean. Then we are going to override fun to string and it's going to return an interpolated string containing name and then likes oranges. Cool, now let's get to main activity. And inside on create we are going to prepare button show orange liking users on click listener and also button save users set on click listener. Then we are going to create a private function save users to preferences which is going to accept a list of users. And inside it we want to get pref editor, which can be gotten from preference manager, get default shared preferences and specify the context which is this activity and then we want to edit it. Then we are going to create a JSON string, which is going to hold all of the users in the form of a JSON string. And we can create such a JSON string by calling JSON and to JSON and we want to convert the list of users. And then finally we want to put string to pref editor under the key of users and the string is the JSON string which we have just created. And lastly, don't forget to apply the changes to the pref editor. And as I've said, you'd usually get a JSON string from a get HTTP request or something similar. But for simplicity, we will have a JSON string saved in the preferences in this tutorial. Then we are going to have a private function get users, which is going to return a list of all users. And this function simulates an HTTP GET request from which you'd get the list of users. But in this tutorial we want to get preferences, which we can obtain from this very call up above but without the edit after it. And then we want to get the JSON string from preferences, so preferences.getString users. And the default value will be null. And now from this function get users we want to return if a JSON string is not null, and we want to return a list of users. We need to parse it from JSON, so let's call JSON dot from JSON, and let's pass in the JSON string which we have from preferences, and then let's specify a class, so list user and then class dot Java, and we get something like this. We have an error saying that only classes are allowed on the left hand side of a class literal. We can fix this pretty simply, right? We can just call list of user and instantiate this list and then call java class on this instance. This error was here because list is not a class but it's an interface. But now we have another error and we can fix this pretty simply. Because if json string is null, so else, we just want to return an empty list, so list of 
and empty. Now let's go up to uncreate. And inside button save users to preferences, we first want to define all of the users. So val users to save will be equal to a new list of, which will contain a user called Jim. And this guy likes oranges. So true. And then we have a bunch of other users which like oranges or not. Then we want to save these users to preferences. So let's pass in users to save. And finally, let's create a toast. So toast.make text, the context is this. And we want to write saved, interpolate, and users to save that size, users to preferences. Then the length of the toast will be toast.length short. And finally, we want to show this toast. And if you want to learn how to create toast without all of this crazily stupid code, check out my tutorial on Enco library so that you can spend your time on doing something more useful than just writing this long toast call. Enco can also create layouts and snack bars, but yeah, this is not a tutorial about Enco, so let's move on. So now we have everything that we need to have inside button save users to preferences on click listener. And for button show orange liking users, we first want to get all of the users. So val users is equal to get users, which will get them from preferences. Then we want to filter users based on whether or not they like oranges. So val users liking oranges is equal to users.filter and we want to put a user to this users liking oranges list whenever the predicate will return true and the predicate is it which is an implicit parameter of type user here that likes oranges pretty simple right and finally we want to set text view dot text which is the single text view that we have inside our main activity to contain users liking oranges and we want to join this list to a string which is basically going to call to string on all of the user objects, which is going to spit out this string. And then it's going to concatenate these strings to a single long string containing all of the users from users liking oranges. And we should be good to go, right? So let's test our app. And here we are inside JSON tutorial app. And first, let's save all users to preferences. And we've saved five users. And then let's show orange liking users. And the JSON tutorial has stopped. When we go to see the lock cat, it's probably too small for you to read, but we crashed right on this line. JSON from JSON, and we crashed right here. Over here it writes that operation is not supported for read-only collection. Well, alright, a simple list is a read-only collection. So instead of lists of, let's write mutable lists of, right? There's no problem with that because it's going to be automatically converted to a list when we are returning it from this function. So let's test again. So we are back in the app and we already have the users saved in the preferences. So we can just show orange liking users. And now the problem is that linked tree map class cannot be cast to a user. So let's debug this. We are going to put a breakpoint up here on val users liking oranges and then below users liking oranges and let's run the app and now when we show orange liking users we are gonna hit a breakpoint and when we click on users it's a bit hard to see for you I know but it's not a list containing users but it's rather an array list containing linked tree maps so what's up with that obviously we cannot check if it likes oranges when it's a linked tree map and not a user but the good thing is that the link tree map contains like oranges field and also the name field. So the data is there, but the format is just wrong. And now because of that, this line of code is basically not going to even run. So when we continue, the app will crash. So what can we do with this? Let's get to the function get users. And we need to specify a type to return from the JSON function. And the problem here is that we are working with a generic class. So let's delete this and we need to somehow specify a type to return from the from JSON function. We can do this by specifying a type token and we need to have an object which implements this type token with the generic type list user. This type token object is not going to have anything overwritten inside it, but we still need to put these two curly braces over here. And then we want to get the type from this type token. Oh, and also let's create a new instance of type token and now it works. And the object written right here is something like an anonymous class in Java. And now when we run this app and we show orange liking users, 
it actually works. Kotlin, however, has an amazing feature called extension functions. And why should we write this long line multiple times in our project when we can write it only once? So let's create a new Kotlin file, JSON extensions, and we are gonna create an extension function and then I'm going to explain how it works and all you need to know about it. So let's write inline fun with a refight type parameter t and we are gonna extend JSON class. The name of our function will be from JSON and let's import JSON here. It's gonna accept a JSON which will be of type string and it will return this which is the extended JSON object da from JSON with the type parameter t and we want to pass in the JSON string and then an object of type token with generic parameter t, instantiate it and then we want to get the type from it. Alright, so what are we actually doing here? Inline function means that the compiler spits out the code as if it was written right at the call site. So when this runs, it's gonna look just like what we have in main activity right now, which is this this line which we've written previously so basically the compiler will do something like as if we copied this line from here and pasted it inside main activity and effectively it's gonna look pretty much the same as it does now inlining of functions eliminates function calling overhead and then reified type parameter can be accessed inside the function as if it was a normal class meaning we can use is and as operators on it here we don't need this functionality but inline functions should be always used with a reified type parameter anyway and if you are interested to reify means to make something abstract more concrete or real so it makes the type parameter more concrete by creating a class from it basically and now let's get to main activity delete this long line and instead write json from json and let's use our extension overloaded function which can accept just a single string which is json string and when we click on this from json and press ctrl b so that we are taken to the definition of this function we are indeed taken to our extension function now let's run this and now when we show orange liking users it's gonna work just as before but this call right here is much shorter and that's it for this tutorial if you want to get the code click on the link in the video description which is gonna take you to resocoder.com if this tutorial helped you to use json with generic classes and also if it helped you to understand this pretty cool and simple library called json overall give this video a like and also share it if you don't want to miss more tutorials like this subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you are gonna be notified about all of my new videos if you have any suggestions or questions leave a comment down below follow me on social media and see you in the next video